more than half a thousand migrants arrived at Finland's eastern border with Russia in November 2023. As deputies from Finland reported at a meeting of the European Parliament, the Federal Security Service is actively luring citizens of Syria, Somalia and Yemen to the country. Next, the Kremlin helps migrants get to the Finnish border, providing them with bicycles along the way. For a time, Russian authorities allowed people through without proper documents. We have indications that this activity is of an organized nature. Therefore, we are preparing additional measures. These decisions must be carefully prepared and proportionate. Petteri Opo, Prime Minister of Finland, during a visit to the Vartius checkpoint. To avoid incidents, Helsinki has sent military personnel to checkpoints to help bodyguards curb the flow of illegal immigrants into the country. However, this is not enough and therefore the Finnish authorities also submitted a request to Frontex, the European Union agency responsible for protecting external borders. The Finnish are asking for an auxiliary detachment of 60 civil servants. If Finland does not close the border to illegal migrants, then this will all happen according to the Russian scenario. This story is not new. We saw this before, when massive bombings began in Syria and many Syrians emigrated to Europe. There was a big crisis at that time. There were these refugee camps, which then broke through to other countries. This is a hybrid impact on Europe, on the decision-making of these countries. Experts also know that there may also be employees of the Russian special services among the illegal migrants. And in the event of a big breakthrough across the border, the Russian Federation will use them to destabilize the situation in the country. If, for example, several thousand recruited Federal Security Service agents enter there through such a flow of illegal migrants, then they can actually implement the coup scenario that was still talked about before 2014, blocking NATO troops at their points of deployment with the help of so-called peaceful rallies. All these hybrid threats have long been spelled out in the arsenal of the Gerasimov doctrine, and Western intelligence services have long studied this document. Amid a new migration crisis, Finland led NATO naval exercises in the Baltic Sea for the first time. They involve 30 combat support and transport ships, as well as various aircraft and helicopters from NATO countries, the Finnish Navy reports. Let us remind you that earlier the president of Finland stated that Russia's hybrid aggression is a revenge for Finnish defense cooperation with the United States of America. Reported by Diana Kulesnik, Nikita Skoblikov, UATV News.